The way advertising is heading is quite simply into a world where the ad will become a substitute for the product and all the satisfactions will be derived informationally from the ad and the product will be a merely a number in some file somewhere. Instead of going out and buying a package book, uh, of which there have been 5,000 copies printed, you will go to the telephone, describe your interests, your needs, your problems, and say, I'm working now on the history of Egyptian arithmetic. I know a bit of Sanskrit. I, I am uh, I'm qualified in German, and uh, I am a, a good mathematician. They said, it'll be right over. And they at once Xerox, with the help of computers from the libraries of the world, all the latest material just for you personally not as something to be put out on, uh, on the bookshelf. They send you the package as a direct personal service. This is where we're heading under electronic information conditions. Products increasingly are becoming services. People have always been unaware of new environments because they're afraid of them. Uh, the, from the moment of birth, uh, people are sense that the environment, the new environment around them is hostile. It's, it's a real threat to their whole existence. And so every time an environment changes, we hasten to seek security and comfort in the old environment. By the way, at this moment, right. uh, we are on the air, and we, at, on the air we do not have any physical body. When you don't have a physical body, you're a discarnate being. You have a very different relation to the world around you. And this, I think, has been one of the big effects of the electric. It has deprived people really of their private identity. So that's what this is doing to me? Yes. Everybody uh, tends to merge his identity with other people at the speed of light. It's called being mass mad. By the way, one of the big marks of the loss of identity is nostalgia. And so revivals on all hands in every, in every phase of life today. Revivals of clothing, of dances, of music, of shows, of everything. We live by the revival. It tells us who we are or where.